Well, I hope you guys are able to see this. My name is Jose Trujillo, I'm an artist, finishing some commissions today, <clears throat> on a Sunday. What's up, what's happening? What's happening, beautiful people of Instagram? I'm letting you in into uh, a commission work. I usually don't record commissions because uh, I don't really have a, a need to be recording commissions. But uh, but every now and then you'll see me record a commission. What's happening, beautiful people? What are you guys doing on such a beautiful day like this? What's happening, Bill? What's happening? So we got all the beautiful people. Sweetie girls. No, sweetie grits. Not sweetie girls. Sweetie grits. What's happening? Uh, painting my daughter's bedroom wall. Nice. You guys, you guys are doing all kinds of je ne sais quoi today. What's up with that? I like it. I like it, you guys. Thanksgiving here in Canada. Oh, nice. Very nice. Well, I'm doing a commission. Hmm. Are you guys doing this box? Are you gonna... <laughs> okay, no, we're not. Go ahead. Cool. Is doing commission stressful? Not at all. Watching you, our great Jose. Oh, thank you so much. I love that. Julie. Julie Mello. Art. Say hi. I see you. Sam. Sam paint. Uh, and Sam paints in oil. Say hi. I see you too. Don't think I don't see you. They're not going to be calling out people, man. I see you guys. Say hi to me. Don't be like that. I'm all acting like everyone's my friend, right? Dude, that's the spirit, man. I gotta act like everyone's my friend. No, <laughs> oh, doing commissions is not stressful at all. Uh, you just, you, you gotta be very, uh, what's the word? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have enough practice in your work, and you gotta let. Before you take on a commission, you gotta, you gotta let people know what you do, right? So when when people take on commissions, one of the one of the things that I see going wrong a lot of the times is that you don't communicate 
with the person or the person doesn't communicate that they know your work and that they like your work. You know? They have to kind of know and like your work already before they jump on and, and asking you for a commission. Because what if they want a Picasso? Or what if they want a a, a, a a completely different color scheme? Or they, they want a, I don't know, like they have to know what you're doing. And the way that you let them know is that you're always, you always have to be present in the marketplace. So that when they reach to you, uh, they have a pretty damn good idea about what you do. If that makes any sense. They have a pretty damn good idea about what, what it is that you do. What's your je ne sais quoi like? Because, you know, that way there's no confusion. That way there's no confusion as to what you do. What type of work do you, do you, do you create? You know, because there's all those, all those, uh, horror stories of man I asked for a commission but they you know I asked for a 13 but they drew a 31 type of deal you know <laughs> I, that, that song's always in my heart we want we don't want a Picasso we want a Trujillo absolutely what's happening And that's what you want to. That's what you want to remind people, right? Or what you do. That way you don't. They're not. Oh man, I was looking for a Monet, or I was looking for this, or I was no. You 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 were looking at my work, and you liked my work, and you know how I paint. It, it doesn't vary much. The way that I paint doesn't vary much. Meaning, uh, uh, you're not going to be seeing different stuff. Very very much different stuff in my work. It's it's very self-explanatory what I do and you, you want to constantly communicate with with uh, any potential buyers again how do you do that how do you constantly communi communicate well you have to you have to be online showing your stuff man a lot of people don't show their stuff I keep telling people dude you gotta be online you gotta keep showing stuff show people your your, your, your beauty baby everybody's got that beauty man I gotta I gotta spray some of this stuff around me and because uh, all this stinking mosquitoes. The mosquitoes think they're gonna get me, but I'm not gonna let them. How's it going, Melody? Good to see you here. What's happening, my friends? So, so this is how I do it personally, right? I'm constantly communicating in one way or another to uh, friends, followers we constantly want to communicate to people what we do as an artist it is extremely important to constantly communicate what you do uh, again so how, how do you do that you show up in the marketplace you keep showing up and you keep showing up until people get a sense of what you do they get a real sense of what you do they're like, oh, okay, I, I see what this cat does. I like it, dude. Not only do I know what he does, I kind of like, I kind of dig it. You know, Jose is muy especial. And, and so that's what you want. I love that. Thank you so much, Chris. That way, that way there's no confusion. You don't want to confuse your, your, your customers, you know? It's the last thing you want, confusing your customers. All right, so now we're gonna go in there with our, with our paintbrush. We're gonna start doing some, some magic. So this is the first thing I do. I get a, I get a sense of, of the drawing and, and kind of like the scale, the proportion, the scale. Um, I was given a set of a set of photographs for the commission. Um, 
and then individual photographs to, to look at references um, for this for this particular portrait. However, I found that some of the photos that, that were given to me, uh, some of them make make a really really good painting because what's cool about animals is that animals are never posing. It's very different from doing animals to doing human beings, or it's very very different because they're they're never posing. However, they sit, it's perfectly. You just got to get them together. However, however they they, they pose because they're because they're not they're not trying. They're they're natural. They're natural, and, and that's that's the beauty of animals. Uh, human beings, you you kind of have to. You either have to get them without thinking, without knowing that, that your presence is there, that you're around there, uh, and, and, and take a photo or draw them, or you kind of have to orchestrate um, the portrait for them, the, the, the sitting, right? It, it's a little different. It's a lot different, not a little different. It's a lot different with human beings because human beings are, mm -hmm. are, are conscious that they're being watched. And so there are. And so the the first thing that goes wrong is that they start trying. You know, they start they start trying either to look, to look younger or to look slimmer or to look, you know, I don't know. They they start looking stiff. Animals don't do that. Animals are, are relaxed. And so they make perfect uh, models for artwork, especially felines. All animals are relaxed, but especially felines. When I see cats, they're extremely relaxed. Look at that. Whenever Jose is liking your comment, I get envious. Don't feel envious, Sam. There's, 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 there's love for everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some love, Sam, so you don't get, you don't get envious. Here, where, where is it at? I'm gonna wave at you. Where are you at, man? I, I think I waved at everybody, haven't I? Probably not, huh? I want to share some of that love. And so that's that's basically what I try to do. I try to uh, bringing a little bit of a little bit of that awareness that I, I've learned through through my my time painting, and, and and hopefully I get to share it with others. You know, hopefully that's what starts happening. Look at that. And, and when you're doing when you're doing portraits like different different multiple multiple sitters or multiple figures, uh, the the whole thing changes also. So some of them you're gonna make them more more uh, more. There's so many different things that are happening. Uh, some of them are gonna be more crisp than others, and now it's because you're using you're using distance and you're using uh, different rules. Different rules apply. Man, a, a portrait is a, is a hell of a thing. It really is. It's a hell of a thing. Do you do murals? No, I don't. I don't. I've done them before, but I don't. I have. It's been uh, probably about 20 years since I, I've done a mural. It's not my gig anymore. Um, yeah, it's just not what I do. So as an artist, I try to keep it. I try to keep it in in a very uh, uh, small. You know, I try to confine my, my the stuff that I do. The reason why is because I don't want to be all over the place. When I was starting, I I, I needed to be all over the place. I felt that way, anyways, because uh, I was trying to get some attention and some, 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 and I was trying to get paid, right? So you kind of, you kind of, you're kind of all over the place when you're starting, and it's good, it's important. But after a while, I realized that I needed to, I need to start niching, niching down more and more. 
I need to start working my niches. Beautiful colors, thank you so much. Do you prepare your canvas with some coating before painting? I don't, what I do is that I add a little bit of walnut oil, a couple of drops, and then I'll just start scrubbing it all over the canvas. Uh, but the canvases are primed already. I buy them ready to, to paint on. Unless I'm buying very large canvases, uh, or, I'm, or I'm stretching very, very large canvases, that's a different story. I do have to prime those. Uh, how long does it take for oil paintings to dry? Uh, anywhere around two to three weeks to dry to the touch, depending on where you're at. A master class in, port in animal portraiture, I love that. Uh, and then uh, and then paintings have to cure from that, right? So so drying is one, one, uh, one phase, curing is another one. Curing takes about six to eight months to fully cure. Uh, but you, but nobody has to worry about that to, to fully cure it. It's, it's just something that it takes time. You know, they, they get, you can hang them and leave them there and, and, and let them cure. They're going to, you know, they're going to cure on their own. Man, this, I love doing this. This is my jam. This is the thing, this is what I prepared myself for all these years. Painting, right? Painting. All the times that I, that I got into portrait painting and, 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 and all, all this stuff. All, all the misses, also all the things that I ruined. <laughs> all the headaches. All the headaches and all of that comes comes down to, 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 to this, right? After a while, you start learning. And, and you figure out yourself, too, as an artist. You figure out your style. You figure out yourself. The middle one is the cutest. The reason why the middle one is the cutest is because it's a puppy. How's it going, Esther? Yeah, the middle one's a puppy, so that's why. I mean, I just love doing this, you know. I I, I often think if, if you dread going to the studio, if you're like, oh my God, I got to go to the studio. I got to go to the studio. It's such a, you know, oh my God. You might, you might rethink your approach. You might want to rethink your approach or rethink your ears. Because uh, I found out that th there's nothing more, more exciting for me than to than to go and start creating artwork. I mean, I there's days that I don't I don't sleep just because I'm feeling excited about the next day, about coming coming to the studio and start working the next day. You know, I'm like a little kid before before they take him to Disneyland. Uh, you know, and that excitement is just ridiculous. And I, I say to my, to the people that I've coached before, people that I coach directly, look, if you're not, let's put everything out of the way, okay? Because a lot of people know and hear what I say, but, but not everybody hears what I tell the people that I coach. Uh, or nobody hears what I tell the people that I coach, really. Uh, but let's put it on the table. If you're not excited about going to work, about going to work, if you're not excited, if you don't feel excited, something's wrong. Either it might not be that, that you should choose a different career. It might be your approach. It might very well be your approach. It might be your 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 emotional idea about work. It might it might but it, but it also could be that you're in the wrong place. It could also mean that. It could also mean that you're in the wrong place. Thanks for all the you share with us. Uh, I've reached out to uh, watch the personality take shape. Yeah, I reach out to many established artists only to find out uh, why their hats wouldn't fit. Gotcha. 
Yeah, um, a lot of people are pretty cool about sharing. I think what uh, what established artists out there are afraid. They're afraid of, of, of time. They're afraid of spending time with artists. Um, and the reason, the reason why this has happened to me is that you have three types of artists that reach out to you as a professional. You have three types. One is the one that's like starting out and, and has no idea what's going on. And anything you give them, they go and, 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 and are excited and thankful and grateful about it. Right? That's one artist that reaches out. Uh, which is 99 probably or 90% of artists that reach out. Then there's another one. And, and I call this one the, the vampire, the vampire artist. This is a very rare one, okay? Like I say, the first one is, is, is like, the, it's like 99% of people, or I would say somewhere around 95% of people. But then there are those vampire people. What I mean by vampire people is that they love to take from you. They take, 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 but they never give. They're all, they always take. They're either, they're, either, they're either taking like, like please tell me this, now tell me this other thing. And, and they, don't, they don't really do much with it. They just want to take. Uh, they take your time. They try to take you out for, 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 for lunch. Uh, they come by to your studio and they want to sit here forever. They, it, it's a person that thinks a lot. And they just they, they take and take and take. That's the artist that most artists are afraid of. Uh, they're takers. They're takers. Uh, they want you to. They want you to answer all their questions, and, and they want you to be there for them. They basically want you to coach them for free, and they don't take into consideration that you're a busy that you're a busy person. Right. Uh, and and they they don't listen to you. They don't listen to you. Okay, so I'm being straight here, guys. I'm being I'm being I'm, I'm shooting straight here. Uh, they don't listen to you. And so a lot of artists I've talked to, well, not a lot, but I've talked to some pros, and they're all afraid of that artist. That's the artist everyone's afraid of. Um, the taker. The taker that won't do anything with what you tell him or her or them. Uh, and then there's a third artist. Okay? The third artist is the one that you, 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 you tell him to do something, and boom, they go and do it right away. They implement it. And that artist... That artist is a very serious artist. And the reason why it's not so much that they go implement it is an artist that gets inspired by what you're doing. It's not an artist that, that is looking to... to uh, it's not an artist who's looking to uh, just fill their head with information going on YouTube and this and that. And it might be a different stage. It might, it might be the same artist in three different stages. Who knows? Um... But it's the kind of artist that 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 uh, becomes your friend ultimately. That artist becomes your friend, and uh, so I've learned to see this this three different stages or these three different types of artists. And I, so I think that's why when you reach out to artists or established artists, they almost never want to they almost never want to uh, get back to you or give you time or anything like that. And I think it's because of those 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 uh, those stages. I think that that's what it is. Personally, who knows if it's true or not? But that's that's what I've seen. Who opinion? Van Gogh versus Gauguin. Who is the taker? Who is the taker? Van Gogh versus Gauguin. I don't know. I think they were both, they were both very serious artists. Although although Gauguin has been canceled for being a for being a pedo. Right, rightfully so. But I don't know. Uh, are those commission work? They are. With those, uh, with those old artists, it's, it's a little hard to separate the the artist from the art because some of them were horrible people. You know, some were pretty horrible people. So they just happened to be artists, but they were they, they, they were pretty horrible people. Look at that painting. This painting is coming along. So I, I think that's why a lot of artists are afraid of, of or the established artists are afraid of, of reaching out. 
uh, or, or getting back, not reaching out, but getting back to, to artists. And so you'll see that they're like, yeah, and so, you, you know, the, the ones that don't mind reaching, reaching out usually are the YouTuber artists or the, the Instagrammers or the, you know, they're not afraid of reaching out. They're like, because they're trying to build a, they're trying to build an audience. Uh, and so they're like, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll be your friend. But, um, but, the, but the people that are more serious, like creating artwork rather than just creating content, uh, I, I've noticed that they're afraid of that. For some, some weird reason, I don't know. Everybody's different, right? Look at that. One of the best, one of the, one of the, the best things about painting commissions is because y you get to explore the subject. You get to really explore the subject. Uh, it's not the same painting a random, a random dog, a random puppy than painting uh, a puppy that, that that it's not random, right? It's not random. You you know that that, that it, it be, the, the, the dog or the person has a has a life I mean everybody does right but but it's not a stock photo you know it's what I'm trying to say it's not a stock photo it, it's it's it, it's a being that lives with someone and that and that uh, has taken on the personality of its surroundings and and, 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 and has developed their own personality uh, and you know all kinds of things. So I, I, I really enjoy this. This is one of the, the things that I enjoy the most. Look at that. So I took I took Sunday to finish. Uh, I, I got about twelve different commissions I gotta do. <laughs> so usually what I would do is I I would uh, do one, two, or three a day, depending on the commissions that I need to do uh, of the week. But sometimes I get I get a lot of commissions, especially now that the holidays right are coming. Uh, I get tons of commissions and. And so I need a full day just to do them, just to get them done. And so rather than being out uh, kicking it at home today on a Sunday, uh, I'm in the studio with my family. I brought my family. My family, my family loves kicking it with me. Huh, Dan? You love kicking it with me? Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. And so, so I bring my family here with me. In the studio and and uh, and get some stuff done. Get some of that work done. <whistles> hey, take care, Sam. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Warner says, "I love it." Thank you so much, Warner. Okay, painting on the move. Vivek says, is that a 16 by 20? No, it's not. It's larger. Look at that. No, it's not a 16 by 20. Although I do do commissions that are 16 by 20, but I, I they have to... A, a commission means so many different things. Like some people, some people have this idea. Some artists have this idea that you can do anything uh, on any format. And the reality is, no, you can't. You can if you want to. You're you're the artist, right? But uh, but it won't come out right, in my opinion. So for me, everything has a different format. Everything has a different format. Um, if it's a, a, per, a person that's standing, holding a, a book, I've done some commissions of, of professionals, you know, like a pastor holding a Bible or <laughs> stuff like that, right? I don't judge, man. I don't judge. Or a, a, a doctor, right, uh, with, with, the, with the, the coat, a white coat on, um, you know, that type of deal. Uh, 
the 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 size the size matters and not because the, the bigger yes it's got something to do with being bigger but it's not it's it's the format it's not the size just just to go bigger the format matters and that's something that that you know you learn you learn over the years it doesn't happen right away world's greatest artist i am the world's greatest living artist you guys Got the website on the move. Very nice. Very, very nice. And I, I, I think you just kind of have to... You have to... Uh, love what you're doing, right? Whatever that is. Love what you're doing. If you don't love it, you're probably... Again, you're probably in the wrong career. No, no, no shame, no shame in that game. You know, I, I've noticed also, here's a thing that I've noticed. Some people have told me, Jose, what does it take to be a full-time artist? I'm like, I'm like, you, you really have to love that damn thing. Because, because um, what takes to be a full-time artist, it, it, it takes a lot of work. But also if, if you're using the wrong strategy or you have... Uh, a very tiring strategy you might you might hate it you might hate it I know artists that 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 I I've, I've coached before to get commissions and they're like yeah when I imagine myself as a full-time artist I didn't really imagine myself as a this has been artists that have earned over six figure multiple six figures a year earning commissions selling commissions who hate it you know, who hate it because they didn't want to do commissions. That's not how they saw themselves. Uh, I've coached artists who, who, who auction their work on eBay um, and completely hate it because that's not what they saw themselves doing. You know, they thought, they got into it, they thought that that's what, that was it. And then, you know, a year, two years later, they're like, no, this isn't it for me. It's not only too much work, but it's not, it's not what I picture for myself. And so I tell people, dude, it's 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 uh, no shame, no shame. You know, everybody everybody has a different path. Everyone has a different path, and 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 I think people should follow their bliss, whatever that is. I know it sounds super cheesy, but but I do believe people people need to follow their bliss and follow their follow their 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 their, their path. Because regardless of what you do, I think it's going to be hard. I think that's the 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 common denominator. It's that it's going to be difficult. And so choose your difficult, right? Don't, don't choose a difficult where you're going to be where it's going to be difficult, and then you're going to be miserable at the same time. So, some people do choose that type of difficult, but difficult and miserable. And and <clears throat> maybe that's not the that's not a difficult you wanna you wanna go after, you know. Yeah, figuring out what's right for you. I know artists that are doing uh, commissions that probably shouldn't be doing commissions. I know artists, I know a ton of artists who are doing auctions on eBay who who probably don't have any business doing that. But 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 uh but you know makes them makes them uh get some, get some started somewhere get some started somewhere uh i know artists who uh like and i coach artists who all they do is is uh or not all they do but 90 percent of what they do is uh gallery shows and, sh and don't have any business doing gallery shows and, I, and I've coached them dude you you with your talent you should be online you should not be on uh, doing gallery shows you, you're miserable you hate driving you hate flying to them and on and on and on and I and on the other coin I, I know artists and I coach artists who are online and I've begged them to do more shows because because that's that's what they should be doing that's where their money really comes from gallery shows and, and and fairs and you know art fairs and that type of deal 
And it's just a matter of finding what's your thing. What is, what is really your strength? Without um, forcing yourself into something that's not really your strength. If, if, you know, again, it's just, it's a matter of understanding. Like I said, I, I know artists that are doing things that I'm like, dude, you should probably, you probably have no business doing that. But, but, uh, but I, you're not paying me to coach you, so I ain't going to tell you anything. You know? Go for it. <laughs> I'm like, go for it. Keep, keep, uh, keep going with it. Uh, because, you know, we're stubborn or whatever. Everybody does different things. Hey, little baby. For different reasons. One of the biggest, one of the biggest things is that we're stubborn. That's probably one of the biggest problems. We get stubborn about something, or you get you get a, uh, uh, you get fancy about something. You know, you get fancy, you get stubborn. And. Uh, And it's because of the stuff that you have in your mind rather than the stuff that is reality. You know? The stuff that is in your mind, like, like, oh no, I have to do this because that's what I see myself doing. And, and but, 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 but the public, the public doesn't want to pay you really for doing that, but you're, you're stuck thinking that that's what you should be doing. But, but the public is saying, no, I, I ain't going to pay you for doing that. You're not, you know? The market, the market, the market speaking to you, and it's saying, but but in your mind you're like, no, if I just stick, if I just stick with it a little longer, if I just stick with it a little longer, and I, I know because I've been there, I've been there in different markets. It happened to me with galleries too. It wasn't my strong suit, but but I kept thinking like every other art because I saw some artists winning at it, you know, I saw some artists winning at it, and I was like, man, if I just stick a little longer. If I just if I just stick it out, if I just stick it out, you know, and and you don't stick it out, what ends up happening is that you start getting jaded. You start getting jaded because because you know a few months go by and yes you have some results but it's not it's not real results where you're like oh my god like like this is it, yeah. right? This is it. You know when you know when you're onto something because because it, it floods you with results first it's like that 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 and then you're onto something it just floods you with the results and if it doesn't flood you with results you're, you're probably you're probably in the wrong thing it doesn't take too long before it starts it starts working uh i was i was coaching an artist who who uh we believe that the best way to do it to do things is to to do commissions based on her work and based on her experience and whatnot. And, uh, man, all we had to do was try, test a few, uh, a few uh, uh, Facebook ads. And she was inundated with work. It was just ridiculous. It was ridiculous. In a matter of two months, she made over 60,000 bucks in just two months in commissions. And uh, that, that is the result of of someone who found their their way right someone who finds their way I think it was more like it was more like 50 days 45 50 days it was less than two months boom 60k of com worth worth of commissions without being on Instagram without being on LinkedIn without being on YouTube nothing it was just very a very clean strategy on commissions um, using ads it's a very clean strategy that, that I uh, I basically put put together for her I didn't basically do it I did it I put it together for her and this is an artist that doesn't have to be on Instagram she can if she wants to but she doesn't have to and like that many artists right it's just a matter of finding the thing that, that you're good at. What is the thing you're good at? And let's explore the market with that. 
let's let's uh, let's come up with a with a with a uh, with a real strategy. What's happening, Diana? Did I love that? I am a smart dude. I am a smart dude. But th those things, uh, part of the reasons why I don't, I'm not, I'm not constantly uh, uh, looking for for people to to uh, to help with artists. It's because it's it's very draining. It takes a lot of energy. It's not like I'm a magician. I have to really sit there and, and plan out something. And and it's testing, right? And it's and also the people that do it, they're not looking for the people that, that, that coach with me, the people the few people that have really coached with me, they're not looking for for a for a magic bullet. They're, they're serious, they're ready. I took an artist on eBay earning uh I think he was earning like three thousand bucks. This was a few years ago. He was earning a, like three thousand bucks. All of a sudden, he starts earning sixteen thousand dollars every month on eBay, from three thousand to sixteen thousand bucks. But this is a very serious dude, you know. And so they're not looking for a silver bullet. These are people that are that, that have been in the game. They understand it. They have talent. They have they have some 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 legit talent too. And so so they're looking to to move to the next stage. Usually when it goes sour with me is when someone contacts me and, and they want me to, like, I don't know, uh, hocus pocus. I, I can't fix bad painting, you know? If you paint bad, I can't fix that for you. But, uh, but I can come up with a, a, a solution to help you sell your work. Look at that. Look at that, pups. Love that Jose, really good today. I love that. Thank you. You know, I'm gonna take another sip of my coffee. This is what I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. Boom, baby. And it's one of those things, right? I remember when I when I got coached by the the, the team of. Um, What's this guy's name? Frank Kern. <laughs> I, I went. I went for some coaching, and uh, and it was interesting. It was interesting. Although I didn't get into the program, I, I did. I did pay some money to to to, to get some coaching because they do they do like filters, right? They do filters. Uh, they filter you. And basically, what I learned is that the people with success is the people they can help. And I was like. Well, no shit, right? The people, the people that are already experiencing some sort of success is the people they can help. Why? Because they're ready. They're ready. All they need is a strategy. All they need is is the right, spending the right amount of of uh, of ads. All they need is they they they, they need the right push because it's already working for them. Look at that. Look at the look at the personalities in these pups. Dude, I'm a beast, man. Look at this pups. It's a beautiful. No wonder why I'm the Wheels greatest living artist. Look at that. So for those of you asking, do you have a photo? Do you have a photo? I do have a photo, you guys. I mean, no one's asking, but you know, people ask me from time to time, do you have a photo? Are you looking at a photo? Uh, today I am. Today I'm looking at a photo.
I like dogs better than people. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I am super hot. Yeah, what? Dude, not, not that type of hat. Hot, dude. Not that type. Uh, dogs are better. My, my son's like, damn, dad, what? <laughs> dogs are better than people. Well, yeah, their 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 job is not to not to, right, not to be uh, like us. They have a different. They have a different a different uh, way of being in this world. And pe people are supposed to be difficult. People are supposed to be difficult. That's the job. You know. The job is that people are supposed to be difficult. And, and that's okay. That's, that's part of life. That's where we learn. That's where we grow. If we avoid people, um, we're not going to experience growth in this life. This, this, I think this, this life is about, about feeling uncomfortable and, 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 and uh, being in uncomfortable situations constantly. constantly being in uncomfortable situations because people people are difficult man we're difficult we are very difficult dogs teach us how to love that's 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 a that's a great statement that is very true Amon says I'm always suspicious of people who don't like animals Esther says I'm definitely difficult. Man, I'm I'm probably the most difficult artist you'll ever meet. I'm I'm difficult to be around. Ask my wife. <laughs> Dude, I'm so difficult to be around. That's probably why that's probably why I work so much. Just a, I'm a difficult guy. If you if you are my friend and you say something that doesn't fly with me, I, I will call you out on it. And if you call me out on it. Uh, I won't sit there and lick my wounds. I'll be like, I'll be like, cool. If if you are right, if you're my friend, if you're like, if you're like, un amigo, right? And you're like, hey, Jose, da 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 da. I probably, I'll probably say some shit, right? I'll be like, dude, shut up. <laughs> you don't know me, man. No, I do know you, Jose. We've been friends for a long time. You kind of fuck up there, man. I'll be like, all right. And not because I'm not because I'm I'm great. No, it's because I'm, I'm I understand that growth is important. Growth is important. And 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 if people don't call you out on your bullshit, um, you don't experience growth. Artists are different than regular people. That's for sure. Yeah. No, we need we need to be in front of people and 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 get get uh, get uncomfortable and and get them to piss us off. I mean, we don't want to, right? None of us do. But that's where the growth is. They're really just pointing out your your your. They're pointing out where you are difficult. When someone pisses you off, that's what they're doing. They're pointing out where where you are difficult. They're like, here is where you are difficult, Jose. If I if I get upset about you know something, they're they're reminding me wh where I need to work. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're doing it because they're like know, spiritual teachers or something. No, they're doing it because because whatever reason, either they're being difficult themselves or whatever. But that's I believe that that's why that's the reason for that. Who knows?
Dude, look at those pops. My wife says I'm weird. My <laughs> Mine doesn't say it, but I know she thinks it. <laughs> Mine says you're amazing, but I know I know from time to time she 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 really must think that I'm weird. I'm 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 weird as hell. I'm a weird guy, man. But one one of the things I value a lot in uh, friendship or, or or you know any type of relationship is loyalty. You know I value I, I value loyalty a lot. I think everybody does, right? But but it's one of those things that I'm like, dude, if you need to call me out and you do it in front of people, and and you're my friend, uh, I know not to trust you. Because a good friend of mine will set me aside. He'll be like, hey, Jose, come here. Put me aside. Maybe get me a smoke. Went back in the day when I used to smoke or get me a drink. And then call me out. You know? Slap me around a little bit. Tell me, dude, you're fucking up. Don't do that. Uh, to me, that's a good friend. A bad friend is someone who wants to, who wants to get me to, 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 to have shame. You know? Was trying to teach me with shame and trying to call me out in front of people or or, or trying to trigger me, that kind of stuff. And so I, I value that a lot. I, I, I value someone that kicks my ass in silence, who does it in silence. That's just between uh, between him and I, right? Mano a mano, pecho a pecho, mano a mano. Look at that. There, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of people like that around. You 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 would think that there's a lot of people like that in almost eight billion people, but there's not. There's not a lot of people like that. Someone who 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 will uh, who will be next to you and and and, and will also uh, will also challenge you and and and, and call you out. And make you uncomfortable. And they're not always right, right? They're not always right. It could be an opinion that they're fixed on, but it doesn't matter. It's still, it's still, it's still, it's still very uh, highly respected in my in my book because they, they they stood up for what they believed, but they didn't do it to to uh, publicly humiliate you, right? They did it in silence. Looking amazing. Yeah, that's pretty toxic. <laughs> Agreed on loyalty. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take everything personally. I love that. <laughs> some, of, some of those toxic friendships, huh? I joked around with my with my wife when I met her. I was like, "Baby, would you help me bury a body one day?" <laughs> if I had to. <laughs> oh man. And laughingly, right? Laughingly, she's like, "Baby, I'll do anything with you." I'm like, "Dude, you're my ride or die." Better reckon that, huh, baby? Look at that. Man, this painting is so that good. Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta watch out with those. Love the new memes. Dude, those new memes are hilarious. I'm like, sometimes I'm just there sitting down watching a movie or whatever, and I'm like, dude, I just thought about this stupid meme. 
I'm gonna make it. They come out natural, al natural. I think everybody needs a ride or die. Everyone needs a ride or die partner. Every person needs a, every Bonnie needs a Clyde. Every Bonnie needs a Clyde, guys. If you don't have a Clyde, go get yourself one. Someone, someone who puts up with your bullshit. And thinks it's romantic. <laughs> and, and when they don't think it, and when, you, and when they've had enough, they, you know, they call you out on it. But, but they still put up with it. Until, until they don't anymore. But they, they put up with you, right? Someone who puts up with you. And, and knows that, that, that you're, you're learning and you're growing. And you're a human being, man. You're, you're growing. You also need, you also need to want to make things better, right? If you're, not, if you're not striving to make things better, then, then, then you don't deserve a Clyde. Or a Bonnie. If you, don't, if you don't want to make things better, you don't deserve one. Look at that. Let's put some, uh, let's put some light in those eyes. Look at that. Yeah, you, you know, you're partner in crime. Everybody does. Everybody needs a little partner in crime. So this looks beautiful. Let's put some, uh, let's put a line so that we can have some spatial Spatial uh, awareness here. And uh, yeah, that's how commissions are done, my friends. Let's do some background. 
and tight, tighten the whole thing up a little bit. Let's tighten the whole thing up a bit. Why do you do little dots? I don't know, it just feels feels right. I feel like I'm ice skating. I feel like my, my, my paintbrush is like a like a like a champion ice skater. So yeah, if anybody's interested in a commission, let me know, because I do create commissions. I know, I a shameless plug right there, but I mean, tis the season for commissions, so might as well. Tease the season. I do what I want, you guys. Oh, yeah. Hi, baby. I'm all about whatever I want. Look at that. It's your artist secret, you'll never tell why. <laughs> I promise you, I don't have any secrets. If an artist secret is that is that vulnerable, it's kinda like it's not it's not a very good one. I'm gonna follow uh uh what's his name? Uh Uh, Warren Buffett's uh, idea of an artist, of a, not an artist, idea of a of a of a secret in business, right? He says you have to build a, a, a moat around your business. Man, I've been doing that for such a long time. I've been building a, a moat around my my approach, my business. Even the people, even the people copying me, are convinced that they're doing they're doing what I'm doing. <laughs> that's that's how that's how strong my moat is. They're convinced that they're doing exactly what I'm doing. Look at that. Boom. Okay, Jose, I have to admit I have, I have a what? A very big problem with your videos. For some reason, when I watch them, I want to have coffee. <laughs> You have the same problem I have. <laughs> Let's see, Amanda says, yeah, in Spanish we call them barreras de entrada. That's right, right? Barreras de entrada, eh? Let's see, Laura says, painting along with you today, friend painting a, uh, what is it? 
Papillion or Pavilion? Uh, for my aunt and uncle. Oh, I love that. Fun to have someone to paint with. I, I'm here. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. This is ridiculously good. Okay, we're gonna go up there and we're gonna come back, come back down here. But we're gonna go up there first. Cause I can. Okay, we're gonna go up there with a nice, it looks like a gray. I mean, it looks like a pink, but it's not, it's a gray pink. And the reason also is because I don't I don't want colors competing with the portrait, you know. I, I you know I I can I can mati mati esque the hell out of the painting, but I, I I know better now, especially when you're when when you're learning how to control uh, vibrancy and and different things. Mati was trying to shock you, right? Matisse was trying to shock you. That's why he did that. When you do it, it's not shocking anymore. It, it, it could even perceive that it could even be perceived as amateur today. But when he did it, it was shocking. It gives you a competitive advantage. Absolutely, absolutely agreed. A thousand percent. Every artist needs to have competitive advantages uh, in the marketplace, whatever that is. If your competitive advantage is that is is that of someone else's, you don't have one. It's it's got to be unique. If your competitive advantage is oh man, I I have my competitive advantage based on this other artist's competitive advantage, you are you are. Uh, you're a uh, you're a dead man walking, not not literally, of course. Because because if it's not visible, if it's not visible, that means anyone can re recreate it. it. It cannot be it cannot be that visible. Look at that. And it can't be one either. You can't have one. I mean, you can, I guess, but one is not going to serve you. Look at that. One of the hardest things to learn is, is what makes you unique. It takes time. It takes it takes time. It takes trial and error. Ninety nine percent of your career, you're confused about what makes you unique. It takes time. It takes uh, it takes lots of work, lots of dedication, not all that thing that people talk about. That that you know, it takes lots of patience, lots of practice, and then you start figuring out what really makes you unique. Is, it, is, any, is anybody else drinking some coffee or, or, or is it is it later in the day for some other people you might be drinking a cocktail or something I don't know it, it, 
No, coffee is coffee at any time, but I'm just saying if it's if it's later in the day, maybe some, some someone else may be drinking something a little harder. I don't know. It's five o'clock somewhere. Look at that. Let's see, did uh, price or where this painting is hanging dictate the size of this painting? Uh, no, no, no. What dictated the size of the painting had to do more with um, the, the, the composition of the painting, probably number one. Uh, I, 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 I kind of had to walk the, the, the yeah, quote unquote walk, right? The, the patron through uh, uh, some different sizes and and uh, different sizes and prices, but it had to do more with the composition than anything else. So, like for example, if you want a painting like this, right? Let's say you have three 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 dogs or three cats or something. You want a painting like this, but you want me to do it in a in a, I don't know, a 12 by 16 or an 11 by 14, you're probably gonna get a hard no. Or a 16 by 20, you're probably gonna get a hard no from me. <laughs> a gentle but hard no. It's got to do more of the composition. I don't, I don't make magic. I, I do my magic, but I don't make magic. So I, I, I need the right size to be able to do my magic. I learned this I learned this through experience, guys. Uh, when you're starting out, you do you do the weirdest things because you're trying to get some commissions, right? So you do the weirdest things, uh, and then as, as time goes by, you start learning, and, and, and those lessons, you 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 don't forget if somebody paid you a few hundred dollars. Or, or a couple of thousand dollars and the painting took you a month to do you, you, you won't forget that and if you do well that's that's your learning curve you don't easily forget somebody pay you I don't know six seven nine hundred dollars or whatever and a painting a painting took you it was a headache and it took you I don't know 10 days to do or, or a month to do or something like that. You don't forget those lessons. It's a 20 by 24. There we go. Oh, thank you so much, Renee. Yeah. 
No, dude, I just got them. Really? Yeah. Pop it in the micro, dude. Just got what? Oh, some tortillas. He's asking if the tortillas are old, and I said, no, I just got them. There we go. Look at that. Ooh la la, baby. This is why they call me the whale's greatest living artist. This is exactly why, my friends. No shame in my game. Yeah, I think so, dude. I, no, yeah, that doesn't work anymore. You want to throw those away, please. I'm, I'm getting some food delivered in maybe like an hour or less. If you really are hungry, ask your mom to, to order something for you. Gotcha. Family stuff happening. Family stuff, you guys. <laughs> Lots of sketch beforehand. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, so I, I early in the video I mentioned that the the composition was perfect already, um, and so from the photograph. So I just kept it. I moved slightly, moved some things, lines and things like that. But but the the composition was perfect. And it's it, it's got to do because dogs are are natural beings. Uh, we are natural beings too, but we think too much, and so it, it's it's harder for us to paint a human being than a dog. the The easiest way to paint a human being is is when they're not they're not thinking that you're going to paint them, and you kind of sketch them, or you or you you, you catch them in their sleep, or uh, because human beings are uh, we're very self conscious and. And so our ego gets in the way when we're trying to uh, show ourselves. And so the, the, the painting comes out and looks forced. It looks forced. Because dogs don't have that. And animals don't have that. And so anything that, that, that an animal does, it's, uh, I mean, it looks royal. They have a certain royalty. All animals have that. They, they, they almost look royal. We, we don't have that. We look like shit when someone wants to take a picture of us. <laughs> Even if you're a professional photographer. Even if you're a professional model. Uh, uh, you know, and, and artists try to do that. They try to go and get pictures from models in order to paint a portrait or something. But, but still doesn't look good because a, a model is still invested in their mind about how they're supposed to look. The way you catch someone is if you catch them sitting there fishing or, or looking at the TV or something and they're just kind of sitting there and, and they're relaxed or they're standing there and they're relaxed maybe they're waiting for, for you know to go into a, a restaurant or something and they're just kind of sitting there or standing there and they're relaxed that's how you catch a sitter otherwise you can't really catch a sitter it's very difficult it's, it's going to look forced and, 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 and not real and that's why you have 99%, 99.9% of portraits look like shit. Not because of the painters are bad painters. Uh, because, well, yeah, they're bad painters. Because if they were good, they would know what I'm talking about. Uh, but it's, it's got to do with, with the, the sitter. The reference is wrong. The reference is wrong, so therefore the painting comes out wrong. 99%... 
Also, by the way, if you are having a hard time with your paintings, you probably are choosing uh, shitty references, by the way. There it is. So this one's got a lazy eye. I love that. But I, I don't, I don't want to make it a lazy eye like that. There we go. Hi from Casablanca. What's happening? Dude, where's Casablanca at? I wish I knew. I know there was a big old movie, right? Back in the 40s. Where is it, where's it at? There it is, my friends. Check it out. Look at that eye. Dude, I could be I could be a fucking Rembrandt, man. Morocco. Okay, awesome. I love that. Dude, my wife has gone to, has been to Morocco. I want to go to Morocco, man. Love that. Big hugs. Big hugs, brother. I want to go to Morocco. Marocco. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, totally could be a Rembrandt. Look at that. All right, my friends. Well, there it is. The name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I've been kicking it here. You've been kicking it with me. I, I appreciate it. I got to take a picture and, and send it to the to the owner. And uh, hopefully they like it. You know, if they don't like it, I can, I can make changes. Uh, if they really don't like it, they get a full refund. <laughs> that's what's cool about portraits. That's how I that's how I play with my portraits. Okay, I create a portrait, then I send you a picture. Uh, if you're like, you know what, I think this, that, that, boom. Let's make it. Let's let's make the changes because because uh, your satisfaction is everything. We're gonna make the changes. And if you're like, you know what, yeah, I don't think it's for me. I, I don't think you nailed it. I at that point, I either ask you, hey, you want me to do it again? Or do you want your money back? Because I can do both. And uh, and uh, you 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 need to be ready to give people their money back, guys. I know that lots of artists you're you're dancing around giving people their money back, dude. If you didn't serve the client, you don't get to keep their money. Okay, if, I'm gonna repeat that again for those of you in the back. If you did not serve your client, you do not get to keep their money. Simple as that. Don't dance around it send it to them right away but do ask you do ask the questions right because sometimes it's not that sometimes it's not that they want their money back sometimes it's it's that you didn't do a good job or you or they didn't think you do a good job or you know whatever a deposit yeah i, I mean i usually do half and half uh m when it's small pieces i don't when it's when it's a little larger uh i do half and half S small pieces it's like you know if you want a commission and, and you know you're, you're dancing around paying four hundred dollars for a little painting, uh, maybe maybe uh, you know maybe wait <laughs> or, or go to uh, go to eBay and, and 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 participate in the auctions, something like that. But if but if you want a commission and, and you know and you're like you know I I understand that it's a, it's an investment, right? It's an investment because because it's a painting that you're going to leave. You know, with your family, hopefully, and it's going to be there for many years, uh, probably hundreds of years. And so, it's an investment. It's not a. It's not a. You're not purchasing something. You know, there's people that, that will pay more for for utility, right? For and, and every everyone is welcome to whatever, but um, pay more for a for a I don't know for a couch or something else because it's got utility. But if you think about it, a painting. Uh, a couch is going to maybe last you 20 years, and that's pushing it. That's push pushing it. Uh, you should probably get rid of it before that, uh, or, or, or a bed, right? But a painting, a painting is going to be there. You, you, you go to the next life, and then your children get to keep it. And then they go to the next life, and then their children get to keep it. Painting really is something you don't you don't really get get rid of easily. It stays in the family for for generations. So. I think it's a great investment. Anyways, enough with my shameless plugs. You guys, if you want a commission, you know where to find me. Take care, everybody. Stay well and sophisticated. Peace out. I'm out.
I'm out, I said. Adios. Thank you, everyone.